This bag right here has everything you need to help you survive your next K-pop concert. And for this video specifically, KCON. It's finally summertime and you know what that means, K-pop fans. K-pop concert season is back. Now let me ask you this, how many times have you lost your voice at a K-pop concert or got sick after a convention? When it comes to K-pop events like these, you want to look out for your health. Back in KCON LA 2022, I was one of the many who not only lost his voice, but unfortunately caught COVID at the convention. And y'all, it was rough. But a year later at KCON LA 2023, I prepared this bag right here that had everything that I needed to prevent that from happening again. And now I wanna help you make your own little KCON survival kit bag so that you can best look out for your health. So by the end of this video, you'll be able to make your own little K-pop concert survival kit. This video is the most applicable to KCON because it's a three days worth of a convention and a concert versus just a one night concert. But some of you may may be traveling out of state for your Bias's concert a day or two in advance, so this may be applicable to you as well. Just a disclaimer though, this video is not sponsored by any of the brands you will see later in the video. All of these are just examples and mere suggestions, so you don't need to get the exact product here if you want to make a little KCON survival kit of your own. Secondly, this is more of a KCON pre and post survival kit, meaning that most of the items in this bag are meant to be used before going to KCON or after you get back to your hotel or Airbnb from M Countdown. While there are some items that you can take into the convention with you, these are more to help prep you beforehand and help you heal up afterwards. And lastly, and most importantly, I am not a medical professional, so please do not take this video as scientific fact. All of this is just personal experience that I want to share with you from K-pop fan to K-pop fan. This is what worked for me, but it may not work for you. Just go into this video with that mindset, okay? Feel free to sub out some items that you may feel are better of use to you. But with that said, let's get started. Starting with the very first thing that you need for your KCON survival kit, the bag. This can be any small or medium sized lunch bag, preferably an insulated lunch bag. Now you're not gonna be taking this bag with you into KCON, but rather this will house all of your supplies either back at your hotel or at your Airbnb. I assume most of y'all will already have like a drawstring bag or a clear concert bag or a small sling that you'll carry on with you. So this is entirely separate from all of that. Throughout this video, I'm gonna be marking all the items that you'll be want to be taking with you to KCON in your personal bag and all the ones you wanna leave at your hotel or Airbnb for before or after the concert. Now, the reason we want an insulated interior for the inside of the bag is for its temperature safe and waterproof nature in the inside. There's a couple of upcoming items that will require water or are best stored insulated. When you're looking for a bag, think lightweight, portable, insulated, and waterproof. You need something travel friendly, not too bulky, but spacious enough to store just a few camping sized appliances. And again, this stays at your hotel or your Airbnb, so you can have a place to house all of your supplies in one compact, neat, safe place. Up next are vitamin C packets. If it's one thing to take away from this video is that your health comes first. The last thing you want is coming down with a cold day one into KCON, or God forbid, the big Rona Rona. That's why you need some sort of form of a vitamin C supplement or a packet. Specifically the kind where you can just take a bottle of water, add this into it, shake it up, and then drink. Look friends, concerts and conventions like KCON practically require you to stay hydrated if you don't want to have a bad time. If you're going to be running to catch your bias, or walking through the unforgiving LA sun at KCON Food Street, or screaming your head off during M Countdown, you need water let alone these right here. I'm gonna need all of y'all to put your pride away for going long stretches without drinking any water. Just please stay hydrated. I didn't drink water the entire time. The reason why I didn't recommend a vitamin C capsule is because these right here encourage you to drink more water just to consume them. While I'm not against it, and while you definitely still can take the capsule version of vitamin C, this is the route that I personally recommend because you need to, after mixing it in, drink the whole bottle in order to consume it all. So you'll be more hydrated and good to go. Plus, these just taste so refreshing. Just take your bottle of water, add this packet in, shake it up for a couple of seconds, and you got yourself a nice, fizzy citrus drink that'll support your immune system for the day to come. <sighs> Anything you can do to support your immunity from all the nastiness out there in a safe, controlled manner, go for it. Your health comes first. The next item you should pack are quality bandages. Look, you're gonna be walking around and standing a lot. And especially if you're a dancer, you might wanna go to some RDPs or dance workshops and your shoes probably aren't the most comfortable. Stays 
looking at you, blisters are gonna happen. Having small blisters and cuts randomly appear on you throughout all of KCON is not fun at all and can drain you faster than an INTJ social battery at a rave. Packing yourself quality bandages is a given when it comes to con going, especially for K-pop conventions and concerts like KCON. I'd recommend packing one of, if not both of these types of bandages right here, the Tough Strip and the Hydrocolloid. For the Tough Strips, it's self-explanatory because you're gonna be moving around a lot and you need a tough bandage that won't rub off from your clothes or from constant friction. With the Hydrocoli bandages, these take your wound care a step further than your normal average bandage. Not only are these waterproof, but these do a fantastic job at preventing friction and won't fray off. One of these will last you one to three days and can help you heal your wounds and blisters in no time. Basically, let's say you have a blister from walking around KCON so much and then it pops. Smacking a hydrocoli bandage on essentially sucks out all the moisture in your wound so it heals faster. So you can get back to walking around the concert venue or the convention hall like nothing happened. Have a few of these in your personal bag for KCON and you won't need to be worrying about any of the battle scars you'll be collecting throughout the whole weekend. Next up are hand sanitizers. I don't need to explain why this is here. You need a form of hand sanitizer with you at all times. It may be past 2020 now, but this goes without being said. People are nasty! You're gonna be trading or touching photo cards, you're gonna be touching albums, iPads from the KCON vendors, and if you're very, very lucky, your bias is hands. Do you want to be the one responsible of potentially getting your bias sick just because you didn't want to pack a couple of hand sanitizers with you? I think not. One thing though, I do recommend you getting the standard travel size hand sanitizer, the one with a standard cap on top of it, rather than the one with the dispenser pump built in. You might think the one with the dispenser pump is more convenient, but no. The reason why you want the standard everyday travel size hand sanitizer with you is because look at this motion right here all with one hand. With the dispenser pump version right here, you can see that it comes with this little plastic cap right here, where you ideally have to use two hands to take off, dispense, and while you have the hand sanitizer, that's great, but look, you still have the plastic cap in your other hand. It's honestly really inconvenient to have the cap to worry about, especially if you're carrying your, your phone or your light sticks or your merch bag or fan banner. You get the point, you're gonna be carrying around a lot with you. So with that said, just get the normal everyday travel size hand sanitizer with the standard flick up cap. That way you can easily sanitize right there without having to fumble around with an extra plastic cap discouraging you from sanitizing at all. Just flick, squeeze right there, cap back into your pocket and sanitize. And look, you're done. Next up is a compact camping hot water kettle. They make small ones like these, like they look like a thermo flask, right? But no, this is actually a portable hot water boiler that you can use to, well, make hot water, boil hot water, and in our case, tea. It's priority number one that you keep your throat well moist and well taken care of before, during, and after KCON. All you gotta do is plug in the kettle via the cable that's included, fill it up with water, hit the button at the base, and you'll have ready hot water within minutes. Obviously, do not take this into KCON with you. This stays at your hotel or your Airbnb. This is primarily to be used after KCON. So with the proper care, you can have all the tea that your throat could possibly ask for. And with that, you know exactly where this one's going. Next up are some throat care or ginger or respiratory care tea. This is your throat comfort teas or your cold season teas even, or maybe even some ginger tea. Anything that can help your throat feel warm and cared for. You're highly likely to be abusing your vocal cords with all the fan chants and screaming and singing that you're gonna be doing. And believe me, brewing yourself a nice big cup of throat coat ginger tea after KCON at your hotel is the biggest reliever that your throat can ask for. After brewing up your hot water, make yourself as much tea as you can handle so your throat can heal for the next day. Next up is some menthol soothing ointment. This is the Filipino in me speaking, but soothing menthol like this is the perfect step to your post KCON concert night routine right before you go to sleep. This baby will do wonders for your throat. It's not a 100% sure shot at making 
making sure you don't lose your voice for the next morning. That's what, that's what the teas are for. But these come in lavender scented ointments. And if you slather a small amount of it on your neck right here, oh man, these are gonna help you sleep so well and relax. And while in practice, these are technically supposed to be muscle relievers and whatnot, but trust in Tita for me, because after you get back to your hotel, put some of this at night right before you go to sleep and your throat will thank you. Salamat po! Next up are throat coat cough drops and Grether's throat pastilles. Now, you're gonna be wanting to be taking a lot of these with you to KCON because these babies give you immediate relief during both the convention and the concert. The throat coat cough drops essentially do what the throat coat teas do, but essentially in cough drop form. Plus, these just taste really good and double serve as a breath refreshener. And for the throat pastilles, these actually have a similar concept. These are like cough drops, but they have a more gummy texture to them. Just pop one in and let it melt over time right before your vocal activities. I actually take these before recording all my videos that require heavy voiceovers. And apparently professional singers and voice actors also use this before their recording sessions as well. These throat pastels are supposed to help relax your throat muscles and help your voice sound more clear and less phlegmy. And these work fantastically for me especially because I'm one of those people that have to clear his throat <clears throat> a lot. And these may help you too, especially if you're one of the loud ones at the concert, like me. They come in these small aluminum Altoid size containers. So these are perfect to store in your drawstring or your clear bag or your crossbody bag. And you don't have to worry about it taking a lot of space. Next up is B-Propolis Throat Spray and Nasal Inhaler. As you can tell by now, taking care of your throat is the top priority. So let's talk about this throat spray. Again, I am not a medical professional, so please do not take my word as medical truth. But I carry this small bottle of B-Propolis Throat Spray as my boots on the ground throat care for whenever I felt my throat needed some extra lubrication and protection. Basically, B-Propolis is a substance excreted by bees to help protect their hive from harmful bacteria or viruses. So having this B-Propolis Throat Spray, you know exactly where this is going. All you gotta do is spray three to four times in your throat and swallow just like this. And you're good to go. I especially use this when I'm about to go into those thick crowds for, let's say, the KCON Showcase stage or a high touch audience. If you watched XG or Rise at the KCON Showcase stage last year, you know exactly what I mean by those thick crowds. Now, I wouldn't say this right here is the sole reason that prevented me from catching COVID last year, but I can definitely say it helped me not come down with any colds after the three days of KCON. It's better than no protection at all. And then with these little nasal inhalers right here, these are small chapstick size sticks that you can just like unscrew, stick in your nostril, and then cover the other one and then inhale. Just as follows. Just like that. If you have one of these, your nose will thank you because these refreshing vapors will help you feel more opened up and less congested than if you were to go without it. And because these are so small, you don't have to worry about these taking up any space in your bag whatsoever. So pair the bee propolis spray and the nasal sticks and your respiratory care will thank you. Next up are cooling patches. These are rather an unconventional add-on to our little care kits. KCON for the most part is in summer and in our specific case for this video, Los Angeles, California. It's gonna be hot! Next to staying hydrated and your throat lubricated, you gotta stay cool by any means necessary. And these honestly gave me so much relief during KCON. Basically, after removing this little paper from the cooling patch, you would stick this on your skin, your arms, your back, your neck, even your forehead. Anywhere that you need cooling, this gives near instant relief and long lasting cooling for all of your escapades and especially the LA heat. My sister and I use these specifically when we were at the KCON food street, when we were in the direct sun waiting for our food. The box says these are for kids, but rest assured these are for practically all ages. Have a couple of these in your personal bag and you'll get immediate cooling. But some might say, why not just bring a USB fan? And while you can, I kind of have this conspiracy theory that me using a USB fan at KCON was the direct contributor of me getting COVID at KCON the first time, so I never went back to the fan again after getting these cooling patches right here. But again, not a medical professional, just anecdotal uncle advice here. 
And next up is the Personal Vapor Steam Inhaler. Now this goes along with the hot water kettle for your after cake con care routine. People normally use these Personal Vapo Steam Inhalers for when they have a cold or when they have a runny nose. However, for our case, we want to use it for that extra respiratory care that we need during our KCON lives. Remember friends, we want to take every precaution we need to prevent us from getting sick. When you're back at your hotel from a night of singing and screaming your head off to your biases, while you're waiting for your water to boil for your tea, get the steam rolling on this thing and get ready for the best nasal and throat care of your life. Just unscrew the top right here, fill the water tank to the max with drinking or distilled water, you plug it in, and you switch it on for the steam to begin. And then once the steam starts rolling, you just place the mask over your face like this, and then you breathe. So you want to circulate the steam throughout your entire face. So in, out, in, out. Nice deep breaths throughout your entire face. Obviously keep the machine on the table and you want to lean into it. You don't want to pick up the machine and bring it up to your face unless if you want to be scalded by hot water. And with that, you have yourself a fully packed KCON care kit. Obviously your hygiene and your hydration plays a big factor to prevent you from getting sick in the first place. And hopefully with all these suggestions, we were able to help you get started in making your own personal care kit of your own. What items do you guys have in mind in adding to your own personal KCON survival kit? Let me know in more in the comment section down below. With that everyone, that's my time. My name is Nathan, SYJ official. Until then, see you guys at KCON. Bye!